Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we are continuing with the hairstyle challenge of the year. And today's hairstyle is going to be adding extensions. Technically, I am still wearing my hair down, but it's a new look because I'm gonna add extensions and I've never really done that before. So, let's get into it. I got these curly extensions from Bella Curls. Bella Curls is a Dominican woman-owned brand, and she really realized that there's barely any curly hair clip-in options. We always see so many beautiful extensions for straight hair, and it's so easy to pop in because it's straight, but because there's so many different curly hair patterns, it gets a little complicated. And even I've had a really hard time finding my 3B, 3C curl type. I've seen wavy extensions, I've even seen afro extensions, but I haven't really seen anyone truly nail my hair texture. Now today's video is not sponsored, but Bella Curls did send me these to try, so let's see how well they do. So the first thing that they send you is a little like sample one. You try it out first, make sure it's the right color, the right texture, and then you order the actual pack because these are not cheap. So let me see the exact ones that I got. So according to the website, I have number two dark brown kinky. You can get 18 inches long, which started at $280. You can get 22 inches, which is $320. Or you can get the maximum 26 inches, which is $360. Now you might be thinking, that's a lot of money, but this is real 100% human hair. So anytime you're getting human hair, wigs, or extensions, it's always gonna be a little bit more than like synthetic ones that we get on Amazon. So very high quality. You gotta pay a lot to get our beautiful curls. And if these work, I'm gonna be very excited. Now here's the only deal that I'm kind of struggling with, because if I put them right here, it's a perfect color match, dark brown. But I do have a little bit of highlights still holding on from like two years ago that are still there. So it's not a perfect match for the bottom of my hair because I do have highlights. If I wanted it to be perfect, I could highlight the bottom of these, but let's see how it works and how well I can make it blend. Curl pattern wise, on the website, there's a couple options. There's wavy, curly, kinky, or afro. I would have thought I'd be in the curly category, but technically on their website, I'm in the kinky category. And this is the kinky texture. So it's still not like circle ringlets where I have circle ringlets like that. These are still like a Z shape. We'll see if these blend. Okay, so if this is curlier than curly, then this is probably gonna be my best option before we go into the Afro category. But let's just do it, let's just do it. So I'm gonna clip my hair up and we're going to try to blend this in as well as possible. Let me move, let's move the hoops. So I'm gonna take the bottom half of my hair and section it out. I think that's good. Clip this up. Now let's get out all of our extensions. So let's see how many are in the pack. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different clip-ins. It's actually a lot, so that's good, at least for the price. And they're, let's see if they're different lengths. Yeah, so some are longer in length here and some are longer in length here. So I want the longest one to be on the back to give me the most length. So let's start off with the longer piece and clip this on the back. Here's what the clips look like and you just pop them like a old school 90s hair clip. So first you're gonna open them up, pop, pop, pop. And I'm going to attach them right here. So slide it in and snap. Bend and snap. Piece number one. Let's keep going. I'm thinking that to make it look most blended, we should always kind of sandwich it between our actual curls. So I'm gonna hide a little, a little bit on top like that and then keep going. So I feel like if anything, this probably is gonna give me more body, more volume than even length possibly. Make sure they're secure. You don't want them falling out. Let me take one more, this little like other random long one. And stick it on top. Okay. 
see how this is looking. Oh, okay. That looks nice. So much more volume. Because my hair is so fine and it's so light. Like, I don't have any thickness. So that, that does look very nice. Let's keep going. So now I want to add some more to these sides here. I think I'm going to keep this side part. So I have to be strategic on how I hide these. Let's do that. And let me get one of these small ones. Why do I feel like these aren't even all going to fit on my head? Hide my hair on top. That looks good. And then this side, we could add more because I'm flipping it to one side. Wow, I have more. Where do I put all these? Let's just keep adding them. Let's do one more sneaky one. Hide it. It's looking good. It's looking good. I think this is my sample piece, so I have one more. Where can I hide you? Wow, it feels like so much hair. I'm just not used to it. Ta-da! Wow. Wow. I wish my hair was this full. Like, length is one thing, but density, volume, I feel like all the Instagram pictures that I've saved for my hair goals. What do I think? It actually doesn't look that bad, the fact that I don't have highlights on all of them. I think I blended it pretty nicely. If you look really, 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 really closely, you can see a slight difference between like this and like these. But like, not really. Like you could back up a little bit. Give me some space. It's so full. It's so full. Why isn't my hair really like this? How do I make like more hair? Like it'll keep growing down, but I need more to grow out of my scalp. Or maybe I don't because I have these clip-ins now. First impression, these are bomb. I am so happy that we finally have some curly extensions because I watch girls with straight hair do this all the time. Their hair could be shoulder length on Monday and then down to here on Tuesday and it actually looks like their hair and they don't even have to wear a wig. So I'm all for these curly hair companies that are emerging. Um, I know she's not the only one. I know of like two other ones but getting this like 3B curl seems to be the hardest to do. And I think it looks really good, especially if with my curls kind of on top being like the visual curls. And this is more just like my fluff inner volume. And a lot of people have different curl textures anyways. So this could just be me. You'll know. Should we try to fluff it out? Like look how it blends. Not bad. <laughs> I've never had this much hair. This is so so cool. Let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Before and after. Wow. Inches. So I did notice that with the 26 inch length, it didn't give me too much more length because my hair is getting really long. But I mean, maybe like an inch or two. But the volume is what really, really makes the difference. And I just love it. I really love it. Okay, so here's the back. Okay, this looks like a big extension piece. Oh, it'd be nicer if my curls covered it. I think it looks really good. If I could actually see the back of my head, I might be able to fluff it. But um, yeah, all the clips are hidden. The clips are also black or dark brown, so you can't see them. Look at the body. Look at the, the volume, the density is really everything. Let me see if I can even make it bigger. Now I'm just getting greedy. Now we're just getting out of control. This is tricky because you don't want to mess up the, the clips. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that. Just kind of got to zhuzh it. Definitely can't have anyone like run their fingers through your hair because you will feel all the clips all up in here. But I feel like if you're dating a curly girl, you should know that by now. <laughs> We're not a let me rub my fingers through your hair type girl. 
Oh, this is bomb. This is bomb. The more I look at it, the more I wish that I actually could grow this much hair. This is for all of you that have to use a lot of product because your hair is so thick. This is what I would look like if I was like you. But because my hair is just like this thin, I could use one product and just use like a little bit. But if I was actually like this, I'd be like you. Those of you with thick, beautiful hair. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Would you be interested in getting some curly extensions? There are a bunch of different colors and curl types to choose from. I will link her website in the description box. You guys can check it out. And she gave me a promo code. So if you use my code, you could save some money. This definitely is like an investment because it is real human hair, but it's something that you would just use over and over again. As you saw, it's really easy to do. I did it pretty quickly. I'd probably do it even faster if I wasn't filming and I had a little bit more practice. But yeah, you could just pop them in, pop them out. They're already in the curl form, so I didn't even have to add any product to them. Um, I don't really know much about like washing them or anything yet. I do get nervous when I have to even wash my curly wigs because I don't want to like mess them up. But it is real hair, so I guess you could just wash it and add more product. I don't know, I'm not adding any product to them because I don't even want them to get dirty. Because it's not my hair, I'm gonna get rid of these little frizzies. Could I probably redefine this with product? Probably. Am I going to? No. If I do end up adding product or washing them or doing something different with these curls, I will let you know, make another video. But honestly, I'm probably just gonna keep these as is pop them in, pop them out, and be good to go. If you enjoyed this video and you like my new look, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.